Hey, we're back in the saddle again. Jimmy Joe Savage and I in Legacy Studios and Dave Pasquale, our handicapper, are going to join us in just a couple of moments to talk about the Preakness that will be seen this weekend on NBC, part of Comcast. And, of course, we're going to be talking about it on the Cruise Market Black and Gold Sunday show at 11. Favor Justify won the Derby by two and a half lengths and is now 4-0 in his career. And just the ninth undefeated Derby winner in history. Also the first horse since Apollo in 1882 to win the Derby after not competing as a two-year-old. No guarantee, though, that there is a reason why that they will win the Triple Crown Justify. Because there is a well, another reason you got to be thinking about why it's so difficult. Only one horse in the past 40 years to do it. Justify conquered the feat a little over two minutes at Churchill Downs and will tackle a similar track in Maryland this weekend. Dave, I want to focus just on Justify and why this horse is justifiably the favorite, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about, you know, Audible, Good Magic, Magnum Moon, and a lot of the other horses in this 20-horse field. So why is this horse the favorite? David. Well, he, he ran exceptionally well, extremely well in the... Uh... Kentucky Derby. Uh, the only thing that he didn't do well was he didn't finish very fast. Uh, the uh, finishing time, as you pointed out, Rob, was 2.04, and actually 2.04 and, uh, and uh, some change. And that is extremely slow. As a matter of fact, it's the slowest Kentucky Derby since about 2010, and before that, the slowest since 1989. Uh, so that's the only thing that he, if he did something wrong, that's the only thing he did do wrong. And you know, he's, uh, he's going to be justifiably the favorite. Uh, he's, uh, uh, he will go off it probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, three to five or one to two. And he could even go off at about one to five. There'll be some horses chasing him, but uh, he looks very, very strong. Uh, you know me, and I, I, I probably will not uh, be putting a lot of money on him on my wages because I, you know, I just don't bet uh, long shots on top. But uh, he's going to be very, very difficult to beat. Favor Justify won the Derby, as we said, by two and a half length, now 4-0 and in his career. My question is, 4-0, and not a lot of races. Does that mean much of anything, David? Well, you know, he's, uh, he's done everything that you could ask of a thoroughbred hor uh, horse uh, in those four, uh, four wins. Uh, he, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's won convincingly every time. The only horse that uh, gave him uh, half a, de a half decent race was Bolt Oro and, uh, and Good Magic uh, didn't do too badly in the Kentucky Derby, but uh, he, he just has won convincingly every, every trip. Now, he had a little little uh, problem after the uh, Derby. He had a little problem with his left hind leg. I think it was his left, uh, uh, yeah, I think it was his left hind leg. He got a little bruise on there. Uh, they've had a couple of things uh, that they said it was, but uh, supposedly that's all healed up. And if he's, uh, if he's fit, uh, he's going to be awfully hard to beat. All right, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Legacy Studios and a little giddy-up time as we talk about the rest of the field in the 143rd running of the Preakness Pimlico, Maryland, this weekend. Stay with us. Good afternoon.